You know, it's fall now. Fall is definitely my favorite season. I love all the different colors of the leaves as they change. I kind of still have this weird thing in the back of my head that every time fall starts, I always kind of just have this little like panic inside of me. And that's really left over from when I used to go to elementary school. I used to be bullied all the time. And somehow, you know, when fall comes, even though I'm what, 50 years later, it's 50 freaking years later, and yet I'm still triggered by that when fall first comes. But I'm relaxing into it, I'm getting psyched. Paco and I are gonna do a lot with the dogs this fall, and I'm gonna take you along and film some of that. But I'm gonna hit my workout right now. I'm expecting it's gonna be a really good one. I'm psyched for it, and uh, I'll catch you in a little bit. Okay, so I got a question for y'all. So being at the gym, one of the things that I've really liked in the last few years is you'll see a lot of the really big guys, especially if they have big, huge legs, you'll see them wearing those kind of leggings, those tights. They're almost like a man's version of pantyhose. You know, they come up to the waist, they go down to the ankle. They don't, as far as I know, they don't have like footsie things in them like, like pantyhose would. And if you have really big legs, then your legs are just displayed beautifully. If you have a big ass, your ass is, again, shown beautifully when you wear these. And if you have a big ass crotch, overflowing, if you will, wearing these certainly advertises what you got going on. Now, I've got a couple pairs of these. I have never worn them out. In fact, I know they still have the tags on it. It's possible that I've never even tried them on. And one of the reasons I hesitate is because when guys do wear them, you know, sometimes guys will wear loose shorts over them. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking if you just display the whole thing, if you work out that way, some of the really big guys will do that. I can't because whenever I've got something like tight underwear, or if it's a tight jock strap. What happens is even though my dick is a decent size, my balls, I've told you before, are on the smaller side because I did steroids so young and for so long. And what happens whenever I put any kind of compression stuff on is it just smushes my stuff right against me. And it literally almost looks like I don't have a dick and balls. I'm not a big display person that way. I wish I was, but I'm not. So a question to you, and let's see if you're brave enough to answer down in the comments. Do you ever wear those kinds of things, something tight to you? And does it show off what you were looking for, or does it just make you look stupid? How you doing? Good, thanks. Hello, baby, hello. So I wanted to know if you do wear these, would you wear them in public? Would you wear them in the gym? Where would you wear them? And does it in fact compress your junk so much that it almost looks like you don't have anything going on there? Let me know down in the comments. So I was a bit delayed getting to the gym. Almost gave up coming. Cause here's the thing, I drove all the way here, it takes me about a half hour to get here. And the road that the gym is on was blocked off with police. Um, I told them I was going to the gym. They're like, too fucking bad, <laughs> move on. So I decided I, I had to get some stuff for Paco's birthday, and I decided to go and do that with hopes that when I came back to this area, the road to the gym would be clear. Unfortunately, it was. So here I am, I'm later than usual. It's two o'clock now. I won't be out of here till about five o'clock. Here's the thing, if you keep falling off the horse, right? You try to go to the gym, you get yourself going there, then you kind of screw it up, right? Here's the thing, keep getting back on the horse over and over and over again. And maybe each time you do that, you're gonna have less problems. You're gonna be able to stay longer and do more. 
A big part of it is just to physically get here to the gym. No matter what you do, no matter how you spend your time, and that's what I'm gonna be doing moving forward. If I don't feel like working out and doing the cardio, or I don't feel like doing the hour in the sauna, but I wanna work out, whatever it is, whatever will get me here to this building is a big step. Because I know once I'm here, once I'm here and I start doing stuff and I start looking at myself in the mirror and I start looking at all the other guys in the mirrors and everything, I will be psyched to get back in shape. It happens every single time. But now I have to be cognizant of the fact that I'm going to fall off the horse again. Of course I'm going to fall off the horse. I'm 64 years old. I can't always come every single time I want. But I'm going to keep trying. And those that keep trying are the winners, my friends. All right. Enough yapping. I got to go do my workout now. Okay, guys. So that was a balls-to-the-wall workout. I feel really good. I did my hour in the sauna, which was a bitch. But I did it. And uh, I'm actually doing a podcast. I'm doing a podcast called Gym Showers. And that's going to be out this coming weekend. Check that out because I'm going to talk a little bit about what I saw there today as well. So, on the workout, it was good. Mm -hmm.